everyone and welcome. My name is Jeff and today we are going to have some fun playing Magic. All right, and the fun thing we're trying to do today is Jund Dinos. That's what we're playing, Jund Dinos, which Jund, it means green, red, and black is the color combination. Uh, and so the main reason that we're playing Dinos again, because those have been around for forever, is first off, Dinos are amazing. I just love playing them. They're so fun. Uh, but also because we got Stomping Ground. Stomping Ground means that we have red and green mana available to us as well as blood crypt which we really don't need a ton in this deck because we, we're only kind of splashing black for tetsamok and a couple removal spells in the early game uh, but it is still a little more, more consistent to make sure that we can hit our three colors of mana in this deck and so that's what we're trying to do here with this deck is we're just playing our basic good dino stuff i'm playing a version more like what i like uh, rather than the enraged trigger one which i know is really good uh, but i just like playing a basic more mid-range style um uh, version of dinos um, with some really fun stuff on the top end so we have itali with a bunch of otopec hunt masters which it can give itali haste and swing in get a lot of value there tetsamok to just come in and wipe the board when it enters for anything that it had put a counter on beforehand and then carnage Tyrant because it's amazing i was debating on getting an, uh, another uh, galta as our elder dragon for green as well and just call it like jund elder dragons but our dinosaurs but Carnage Tyrant, I feel like, is even better than Galta, just especially in the format with a lot of stuff that can target it. So let's go ahead and get into the gameplay, see how this goes. Oh, definitely adding the three Thrashing Bronze Tons for all the enchantment removal you need right now. And I'm just a huge fan of Riptar Raptor. Uh, I feel like it's an underplayed card that has a lot of value. Like, I think it's a really great four drop. Uh, and yeah, anyway, let's go ahead and get into the gameplay, see how it goes. Wish me luck. All right, up against Omna. I almost said Omaha. Looked like that for a second. All right. Um, well, not terribly slow land, so we can keep this. Yeah, we have Otspec Huntmaster into Thrashing Bronzadon, so that's not bad at all. And then we have some really good stuff. We have uh, Black Mana for Tetsamok to keep pinging or kind of targeting stuff so that we can just come down with a big board wipe if we draw into a uh, We only need two more mana as long as we keep Otspec Huntmaster alive. So Blood Crypt tapped. Uh, I think my favorite dino deck I've ever done was I played a deck that was full of these guys that make your dinosaur creature dinosaur spells cost X less you know uh, Ultra Pack Huntmaster the uh, the white one I don't know the name of it anymore and then there's a green one that makes it cost two less and you can play Zatalpas for like insane amounts <laughs> and it's really fun all right um, Rootbound Craig um, let's get down, let's just get down Thrashing Brontodon now. I want to get some value here. We can only do this on our turn, so let's, uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and give this haste and swing in, put some pressure on right away. They will probably block just so they can get the token here. They do not. Okay. We could keep Thrashing Brontodon available, but let's go ahead and target you. Pass the turn. It really doesn't do much for us, but I'm just using the mana that I got. Maybe revealing the Tetsamok wasn't as good, but we could also see if they don't go all in as much. All right, Lava Quills are beautiful here. In fact, we might use both of them here. Two damage to, to get rid of a pretty good amount of their board. All right, pay two life. I mean, I would love to have this for, um, actually, do I want to save it for if they have a Seraph of the Scales? So we can kill that one with Tetsamok if it does come down. So we're going to swing in. If they block, then um, we can target the afterlife token so we definitely didn't need to pay for two life there uh, that was a misplay all right Tisa okay no blocks down to 14 pass to my turn ripjaw raptor is pretty good um, let's go ahead and Yeah, let's get rid of Tesa. Yeah, that, that's that's what I was thinking. Getting rid of Tesa there probably just causes a scoop. 
Uh, there's some things that are pretty devastating to people's gameplay there. Alright, Epic Hits. Yojimbo. <laughs> Yojim Yojimbo. Oh, that makes more sense. Alright, uh, we're going to keep this absolutely. We have Lanawar. We don't have much else, though. Hmm. Yeah, this might be... Do I actually want to pay for this line or else? Especially if this is red. Mono red. Um, there's a lot of good draws that we can run into that would be really fantastic. Ranging Raptors, Thrashing Brontodon, all of those would be fantastic to have this guy down for. All right. And that can also happen. All right, Dragon Skull Summit. Well, there was the Raging Raptors, so it actually was a pretty good play. Uh, do we want to keep up? Let's get this down tapped. Uh, that way we can have cast down later on if we need it. But Ranging Raptors should be pretty good against this deck. Oh, man. If I had gotten that out, turn three, that would be beautiful. All right, Rootbound Crag. Um... All right, we're going to get down Ranging Raptors. We're going to take a hit, probably. Uh, but we can Savage Stomp the Chain Whirler and cast down whatever else they play on the next turn. Uh. Well, we can still do the same thing, same play. So we will cast down Rekindling Phoenix. Unfortunately, we don't get to uh, get value out of the Savage Stomp. Well, so we target this one, and now that he can't swing in with the Chain Whirler, at least. Um, we're not going to attack. We need to hold on to our life here. Another Rekindling Phoenix. Well, now we need to start going, I think, a bit more aggressive with a Charging Monstrosaur. Um... So we're basically going to trade off our Charging Monster Store with the Rekindling Phoenix. If we go with both here. Or not with the Rekindling Phoenix, with the Chain Whirler. Um, they can block here, take for 5. We might just have to say no attacks. We have to be a little bit more cautious, I guess, here. There's a Rix. Trying to find some better draws. This Rekindling Phoenix is frustrating. Um, he doesn't necessarily want to race it, though. So the nice thing about Chain Whirler is if it blocks the Ranging Raptors, um, we actually would get two triggers with it. Let's go ahead and Charging Monstrosaur number two. And let's just put on the pressure. The Charging Monster Swords actually are pretty good here, especially with the Trample. Yeah, they can double block one of them. But we get to kill a Chain Whirler. We get to get a land out of our deck. Actually, we get to kill we get to kill their board except for Killing Phoenix, but we're left with the 5-5. So I'm okay with this, for sure. Uh, typically just going to go for green. Um, I guess they should have got a Swamp out, but... Yep. There's the elemental. I think I forgot that the uh, the token sacrifices uh, rather than just exiles at the end. Um, there's some fun things you can do with that. Ooh, Itali. All right, so all attack. We'll see if they have something else here. They're just stopping as much damage coming through, letting themselves try to find an answer. Uh, but we'll just Atali, and that might just be game. If they don't have an answer for Atali right away, um, yeah. Atali's so fun. <laughs> my, uh, that's one of my favorite, I think it's my favorite dinosaur. Um, yeah, definitely my favorite dino. Ooh, gets rid of the, so cast downs the Monstrosaur. We can uh, kill their treasure map next turn, but I don't think we really want to. Hmm. 
Maybe. We don't really want them to be able to get card draw. Is that worth a Brontodon, though? Uh, Dragon Soul Summit. So let's go swing it in, see what we find on top. We have to discard if we play the Ricks. We could find something better. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. We have two of the same thing. Eh, yeah, that's what I was worried about. All right, so they double block. We will absolutely kill Dire Fleet first. Man, that really wasn't that fantastic of a of a trade there. Let's get down Brontodon. Man, do we want to? Do we have to kill the treasure map? Yeah, I think we do. Ah, that feels bad. Rekindling Phoenix is so good. I mean, I was gambling on finding something really good with that Itali and not finding anything worthwhile. Is pretty sad and not be able to draw anything. So that means the top. Oh my gosh, the top of our deck has been terrible. No attack. So we have like one turn to try to find. I don't even know what we can find now. Chain Whirler. Yeah, I think this one's over. We don't have an answer for that at all, and we will concede. Oh my goodness. Ah, that. That's such a frustrating way to end a game, is when you like are playing a good game, it's close, and all of a sudden you draw land, 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 land. <laughs> Terrible. All right, up against Mendes. Grr. Or Does GR stand for anything? I mean, possibly a last name, but I don't know. All right, this is a decent hand. I like this. We have a lot of early game stuff. We have Ripjaw Raptor to get into with the uh, Otapak. We, uh, we do have the two forests, so yeah. Yep, this is good. Ripjaw Raptor on turn three is beautiful. That's what we want to be doing. We we have a lot of ways to make that happen. We are going to get down the Blood Crypt first to try to uh, get our black mana available. And Evolving Wilds for white, eh? Sulphur Falls. Really slow lands for the opponent. Which we are okay with. Relentless Raptor. So this has to attack each uh, combat if able. And so Ripjaw Raptor will definitely help with that. Um, and we will just pass the turn. No reason to attack in with it when we know they're going to attack at us. We want to be able to remove their, some of their board. We'll see if they have Auras in this though. That is one thing that... I mean, cast down will definitely help us out there. I'm actually a pretty big fan of Relentless Raptor. I think it's better than a lot of people think. If you're playing the right kind of stuff. Like, I mean, if they have a good hand here, it's just broken. Um, I'm hoping they don't have Dive Down. Alright, so... Um, I'm actually going to hold up the cast down. Do I want to get down the Otapek, though, and spend life for this? Um, yeah, let's get down the Huntmaster. Let's uh, play Overgrown Tomb, tapped, or untapped, swing in for four. All right, so they block next. See if they do anything. All right, that's fine. We didn't expect that. Maybe they have shock. All right, so hasty can't be blocked. Are they playing anything else in him? We're just going to cast him down. 
try to make this pretty devastating to the opponent. Like, honestly, that's probably one of the best things we can do is just make them feel like they can't play anything. Root on Craig, Lana Warrells, Carney T. And target Dinosaur gets haste, and we will swing in for quite a bit of damage. Yeah, down to eight. And, uh... <laughs> Yeah, there we go. Opponent skips it up. I, I love this deck. When it goes off like that, I mean, we're up against some pretty interesting decks, which I, I actually like playing against normal stuff, but this probably should be played more in ranked. All right, up against Meist. <laughs> the, the Meist. All right. Um, I get too much of a kick out of people's names. Oh, this is fantastic. I like Drover. Um, we have a possible Rip Jar in tur turn three, and that's what we keep. We always keep that. Drover the Mighty is amazing because it taps for any color. Um, beautiful. Getting the red mana there is awesome as well. Tithe Taker, eh? Uh, Lava Coil is really good for that. We're going to get down our Ripjaw Raptor first, though. I've been seeing a lot of this kind of a deck. Um, I mean, it's good. Yeah, no blocks. Do they have cast down? Do they have something else here? Another tithe taker. All right. Uh, pay the two life, rip jaw. And now our drover is a 3 3 and can block most of their deck. Seraph of the Scales is an issue, uh, which Lava Quill can answer. Tetsamok is actually pretty good. If we get up to the mana there. Field of Ruin, eh? Well, do we want to grab a mountain? We have two green. Yeah, I think we're okay to grab a mountain. Alright, so... Charging Monster Sword is not terrible either here. We could get down another Ripjaw. Do we just start going kind of aggressive here? And we have Tetsamok to kind of finish it off. So let's uh, pay the two life. Let's go with Charging Monster Sword. I want to start getting damage out quickly. Uh, another Ripjaw Raptor, if they have an answer for stuff, is okay. Uh, it has Trample. I don't... Get some afterlife tokens. Alright, down to 12. Oh, Kaya's Wrath. Okay, there we go. That's fine. Memorial to Folly. Ripjaw Raptor. We've still kept a pretty decent hand here. We are lower in life than they are, though. Um, Surf of the Skills would be okay by us. Kaya. Okay. Well, we're just going to kill the Kaya. Mm, glad to be here. Your problems are my profits. Root down Craig. We can get down Carnage Tyrant as well. How much do we care about this Kaya? If they have another Kaya's Wrath, it could be annoying. Let's, uh... Hmm... Lava Quill is actually a really good card against an Afterlife deck. So let's just get down Carnage Tyrant, swing after him. We get to kill Tikali on a guard anyway. Um, maybe Tetsamok might have been might have been better, uh, just because we have another one. But let's draw a card. Probably should have done that first. All right, Lanor. All right, so they do have the board wipe. Let's see how many more they've got. I should have taken Kai a little more seriously. I, I was kind of worried that that's what they were going to be doing. They see that we have the Memorial to Folly. All right, well... Tetsamok. Oh, man. I The way that this started, I did not expect it to be a Kaya's deck. I would have played things a little bit differently.
But that's I'm thinking that's what this is. Alright, ill gotten inheritance. Okay, so they don't have an answer to Tetsamok. They're just trying to gain life now. Possibly have another Kaya. So next. Yeah, let's let's kill Kaya first. Okay, Kaya's down. Um Do they have another one? Man, Atali... I, we have to go for Atali when we can. I'd love to be able to make it hasty, but... This is just gives us more more damage. Savage Stomp will be good. Don't have removal. Alright, bonus keeps it up. Whew. That Kaya got me pretty scared. If they had just more board wipes or something, more removal. Like, uh, I, I was expecting Ross's Contempt, but that was pretty good. All right, there you guys have it with Jun Dinos. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, please leave a like, subscribe, all that jazz. Uh, if you guys want to support me on my Patreon account, please look in the description below uh, for the link. I do not have extra videos, for, uh, extra games for this one. Um, the extra ones, that, the extra games I played here, I played like one or two more. Uh, we're just not as good of games. I don't want to put up stuff that are just boring. Uh, if you guys want to check out some of the previous games, uh, decks that I've done. I have some really fun games on my Patreon account for patrons, those that support me and help out my channel. I uh, really, really appreciate it uh, for all those who have done that. Uh, it helps me move from where I was working four jobs to just doing YouTube. And I'm actually at the point now because of a sponsor that I can actually be doing YouTube pretty much full time now. Uh, still doing a few things. But anyway, I really appreciate all of you guys. Thanks so much. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much and bye bye.